Well, hello friends. It is the beginning of December. I can't even believe it. And this is our beginning of December three week grocery haul. This will cover everything that we need for Christmas. Um, but I will be going back to town um, the week after Christmas before New Year's to get some stuff for New Year's uh, because Christmas is just about three weeks away. And so this food is for all of the meals that we will need coming up to Christmas and Christmas Day. It was a big haul, got a lot to show you, so let's go ahead and get started. This is everything I got at Kroger. It was not a very big haul, although this is over $100 still, mm, crazy. Um, they didn't have several of the items that I needed, and there was a couple of substitutions for things, but we'll go ahead and get started. And I did have coupons for a lot of this stuff as well. So I will show you what the final total was at the end of this little clip. After each little clip, I'll show you what I spent at each store. So this is what I picked up at Kroger. I got two of these Bertoli spaghetti sauces and two of the Ragu pizza sauces. I had coupons for both of those. Got some coffee for the guys. They did have to substitute. Um, it was basically, I had gotten the like regular blend and they had to substitute for the premium blend. No big deal. Um, some more prunes. Get those every time we go shopping. I had a coupon for two things of chips for um, that were Kroger brand. So I just got one of the regular wavy and then I got some pretzel sticks. This is going to go in the Chex Mix. I make Chex Mix every year for Christmas and so I need pretzel sticks for that. Um, I had a coupon for a free uh, Kraft mayonnaise. So this was actually free. Now this was a mistake. Um, I ordered four cans of chicken broth, canned chicken broth. They gave me the, gave me two of the cartons. So they didn't tell me it was a substitution. They just did it. So anyway, I don't particularly care for the chicken broth in cartons, but I'll use it because that's what they gave me. Um, I got two bags of chicken strips. These are for our supper tonight. Got some uh, chimichangas for the guys for lunches. One pound of sausage, I had a coupon for that. Um, I got some creamer for the guys. I usually get them the chocolate caramel and the hazelnut, and then I also get them like a caramel, but they didn't have any caramel. Percy, Percy, no, get out of that. He's free. <laughs> So I got them coconut instead. Hopefully they like that. I know I'd like it if I could drink this stuff. Um, they did not have any of my Ripple, which I was very bummed out about. So you'll see it later on in the haul what I got instead at different stores. Um, I got two things of the mozzarella dairy-free cheese and one of the cheddar dairy-free. Got some American cheese slices. Got two pounds of our plant-based butter because we will be doing some Christmas cookie baking. And then I got two tubes of the crescent rolls. These are just nice to have um, in the refrigerator as a side dish. All right, this is everything I picked up at Kroger. All right, this is everything I picked up from Walmart. It doesn't look like 200 and some dollars worth of stuff, but that's what it is. <laughs> I got three of these rice and crust pizzas for Travis, three meat pizzas. Our church is doing a an adopt a family Christmas thing. I don't know what else to call it. Where you they adopt a family that's in the school that is in need and you choose tags and you buy for that child. So I chose two tags. One is for a two-year-old little girl and I got her this cute, adorable little outfit. The little tag kind of gives you like suggestions on what to get, sizes and whatnot. I just thought that was so adorable. And then the little boy was one years old and they said he liked Mickey Mouse. So I got him this. So that's for the adoptive family. Um, two of my aunts and one of my uncles and my dad and my sister are coming over on Thursday for just a little get together and so I'm going to have some cookies and coffee and 
So I picked up these plates and napkins for that. I picked up some some more of my uh, Dramamine Meclizine. This is for dizziness. I get super dizzy in my head whenever I have congestion. So I picked up two of those. Um, Olivia and I are still suffering from a cough from that cold we had before Thanksgiving. So I picked up some cough drops for that. Um, our church is also doing a cookie decorating game night. And so I said I would bring the blank cookies to decorate and they suggested I just get these um, break and bake kind to make it simple. So I got one, two, three, four, five packages of those for our church event. And then for, for the cookies for when my aunts and my uncle and family come over this week, I don't have time to bake homemade cookies from scratch. So I just went ahead and got some of these chocolate chip cookies and then some of these that have the little Christmas trees. And I'll bake those up tomorrow and we'll have those Thursday. Uh, I saw this, it was a complete impulse buy. I just thought it looked fun and who can pass up chocolate cereal and Rudolph is one of my favorite Christmas movies. I picked up this thing of sprinkles to take to the church for the cookie decorating party. Picked up some more of my yogurt. I haven't had yogurt in a while, so I picked some of that up. Picked up some AAA batteries. We needed some. I was going to get them at Aldi, and I forgot. So I saw these on an end cap, and I picked them up, and they were expensive. Ugh, like seven bucks for those. Ridiculous. Picked this up for Travis's stocking. It's a tradition. I always get him Swedish fish for Christmas. And this is one of the last things I needed to get for Christmas. I picked up some more of this minced garlic because the stuff I had was almost all gone. Um, we're going to have a, tr a Big Mac salad probably tomorrow night for supper. And so I needed to get some Thousand Island dressing for that. Um, during our cookie baking extravaganza that Olivia and, I's got our, ugh, Olivia and I are going to do in a couple of weeks, one of the cookies calls for cherry preserves. So I picked up some of that. Got some unsweetened coconut milk. Um, like I said in my Kroger portion, they did not have any of my, um, oh my goodness, my brain just died. Ripple, <laughs> any of my Ripple. So I got some of this Nut Pods. It is unsweetened and dairy-free. When I get to the Aldi portion of this haul, you'll see that I picked up some dairy-free coffee creamer from Aldi as well for me that is not sugar-free. Sugar um, for Christmas lunch, or not lunch, Christmas, ugh, Christmas supper, my brain is not with it today. I'm tired, it's been a big, long day. Woke up this morning, it was snowing, and in the course of shopping, it turned to rain, and it's a muddy mess outside. So anyway, and I, town was a madhouse. Oh, this time of year, it's ridiculous. Christmas supper, we have ham, and I always have the brown and serve dinner rolls. So I have two packs of those for Christmas. Percy, Percy's trying to take that toy outside. What are you? Oh, that's another reason why my brain's not working. <laughs> there he goes. I bought these mats to try to keep the mud and mess down and not working very well. All right, back to the haul. Scott was completely out of granola bars, so I picked him up some of these Nature Valley, plus some of these Chex Mix bars. He really, really likes those. For Christmas breakfast, I always make homemade cinnamon rolls and pineapple braid, and I needed some bread flour for that. Picked up some of these little cuties, because I just love them. Picked up some of this uh, sparkling white grape juice. We have that with orange juice for Christmas breakfast. And then for Christmas supper, we'll have the um, red sparkling grape juice. We don't drink alcohol, so we just get that at Christmas time because it's special. I picked up two big bags of mixed vegetables. Um, we make Sally's dog food homemade and she's almost out. So one of the ingredients is mixed ve vegetables. So I got two big bags for that. One is for dog food, one is just for us to eat. Then I got some of the stir fry 
uh, vegetables also for us. Um, the cheese for Christmas Day lunch, we have a grazing board. Cheese and crackers and meat and pickles and all kinds of things. And so I picked up this, this cheese for the guys. Nope. Baby Swiss, Colby Jack, and Pepper Jack. And I have some dairy-free options for Olivia and I. Got some lettuce, one um, for the uh, Big Mac salad. Some bananas. Now, I won't use both heads of this for that salad, but I do eat a lot of salads. So I just got two heads of iceberg lettuce. I got two things of, of my unsweetened pure leaf tea. Really, really like that stuff. And then I had forgotten to get Mountain Dew at Kroger, so I had to get it at Walmart. All right, that's everything I picked up from Walmart. I'll get this stuff put away, and then I'll show you what Olivia picked up from Walmart. This is what Olivia picked up. This cost $40. Can you believe that? $40. Ridiculous. Uh, she needed some polyfill for a project she's working on for a Christmas gift. She decided to get this for her dad for Christmas because he's so hard to buy for. So she got him some hazelnut coffee, which is one of his favorites, and turtle, turtle brownies, which are also um, one of his favorites. This is a new book from the Hunger Games series. I have all the other books, so once she's done reading this, I want to read it. But it's kind of like a prequel. It was like the life of um, President Snow and what caused him to become so evil. So that'll be interesting. And then she needed a new mouse for her computer, so she picked that up as well. So that's everything Olivia picked up from Walmart. All right, this is everything I picked up from Aldi. Oh my goodness, there's a lot. <laughs> um, at this time of year, it just always seems like kind of overwhelming. But I think I got everything. I don't think I forgot anything. So I won't have to make any special trips, thank thankfully, hopefully. So let's go ahead and get started. Um, I got three things of everything bagels and two plain bagels for Travis. Olivia does eat some plain bagel on occasion, and so do I. Two packs of um, the artisanal white bread two loaves of the sourdough bread, and I really like this Italian bread. So that's all the bread for three weeks, and also two packs of flour tortillas. That will last us for three weeks as well. Got some oyster crackers. We do love soup this time of year, and oyster crackers are the best for soup. I picked up some of the snack combo chips for um, Travis for his lunch. I picked these up. They had them last year and I thought they were good. And so I went ahead and picked up some of these turkey stuffing flavored potato chips. We'll have these with our uh, chicken strips tonight for dinner. I picked up some of our tortilla chips because we were completely out and we do eat those quite often. You can get him, you can get him out of there. If you're done, if you're done, Olivia was taking the cold stuff down, so she had to put the puppy in his pen. He's a stinker. All right, so for the cookie decorating game night at church, I bought the cookie dough at, at Walmart, and I saw these at Aldi. So I picked up some of this for that as well, green and red, and then they also had the vanilla. So I got two of those. I figured it was cheaper at Aldi than it was at Walmart. So they had it and so I picked that up for that. And then I picked up some of these green and red sugars. These are for some cookies that we're gonna be making um, at our baking, cookie baking day when Olivia and I bake cookies. Um, most of this stuff here is for the grazing board for lunch on Christmas day. Got several different kinds of crackers, um, thin, these are like, um, well, what are these like? Wheat thins. So we got these thin wheats. <laughs> got some pita crackers. Got some of these six cracker assortment. That sounded interesting. And then some club crackers. And that'll be plenty of crackers for our grazing board 
and I'll probably still have crackers and things left over even for New Year's Eve because we do appetizers on New Year's Eve. So that'll probably be enough for both. Picked up some nuts for our grazing board, some pistachios and some cashews. Olivia helped me pick out things for the grazing board as well. She picked out these figs. I picked out these. They are German style pickles and they're chili. I bet you they're, <laughs> they're probably gonna be so spicy. I'm not gonna be able to eat them, but I thought that sounded so good. And then we got this. We're gonna put on some dairy-free cream cheese as like a dip with uh, crackers, red pepper, fruit spread, sweet and spicy. And then we got some meat. I'm gonna slice this up, this summer sausage. And then I've also got some pepperoni in there that I will use and then some other sausage I'll show you in a minute when I get around to the cold section. Um, the cereal and the nuts, these are for the um, Chex Mix that I'm gonna make. Two packs, two cans of mixed nuts, some rice Chex, and corn Chex. These are the Aldi off-brand, but they're just as good. Um, I picked up some more flour because, like I said, we'll be doing a lot of cookie baking as well as some more sugar. We still have plenty of brown sugar and powdered sugar, so we didn't have to worry about that. One of the cookies that Olivia wants to make requires a lot of cornstarch, so I just went ahead and bought two of those because I do use cornstarch quite a bit in my cooking. Um, I'm going to be making a pineapple braid for breakfast for uh, Christmas and I needed some crushed pineapple for that. Uh, the brown rice is for Sally's dog food. When we make, we'll make it, we make it in big batches and then freeze it. So I'm gonna cook up this entire package of brown rice uh, for Sally's dog food. I picked up two things of ketchup. I didn't have any left down in my um, long-term storage, and we go through a lot of ketchup. So I got two of those. Picked up some Worcestershire sauce. I use this quite a lot. I picked up some apple juice because for New Year's Eve we do mold cider. Well, we use apple juice, not cider, but it's kind of the ba basically the same deal. We warm this up, add spices to it, kind of let it simmer, and it's really, really yummy. So I picked that up for New Year's Eve. Picked up some pasta, some penne, and some, I don't know how you say it, Farfalle, farfalle, I don't know, little bow ties. I uh, picked up some pecans. This will be for a jello salad that I make for Christmas. They finally had the snack sticks, meat sticks that Scott likes back in stock. So I got three boxes of those for him. Olivia wanted to try a papaya. And so I'm like, okay, I've had papaya before. Last time I tasted it, I didn't like it at all. I might like it this time, I don't know. I might hate it, but hey, we thought it would be fun to try. I like to try new things, and I like to have the family try new things, and so we got this papaya. Got some more of these autumn crisp grapes. They're expensive, but they're delicious. Picked up some more of these yellow potatoes. I had picked some up for mashed potatoes for Thanksgiving, and they were the best mashed potatoes we have ever had. They were so good. So if you want an excellent potato for mashing, get some of these yellow potatoes. Um, or if you can find the Yukon Gold, I don't know, maybe these are Yukon Gold, they just call them yellow, but those are the best mashing potatoes ever. Picked up some of these little tomatoes for salads. I got two of these Jiffy Corn Muffin Mixes. Uh, the night that we have the cookie decorating party at church, they're gonna have chili. And uh, they said for people to bring side dishes to go with chili. So I'm going to make a cornbread sausage casserole to go with the chili. Um, Olivia got some more of this LaCroix, the limoncello. She really liked it, and I tasted it, and it's very, very good. I really like it. Got Scott, not Scott, Travis, some of this lactose-free milk. Got some paper products, paper towels, napkins. We were out of sandwich bags and storage bags. These are the quart or the gallon storage bags. Some of these disinfecting wipes. These are just really, really handy. 
uh, two packs of paper plates, some dishwasher tabs. Um, I got, this is the uh, dairy-free creamer that I was telling you about, but I got it Aldi, peppermint mocha. I just, ugh, yum. So excited about this. I know it's got carbs, I know it's got calories and sugar, but you know what? In this instance, I don't really care. <laughs> I wanted it and I didn't have, like I said, Kroger did not have my ripple, so I went ahead and just got that. Got one pound of ground beef for making homemade pizza. Now, last time I went shopping, I got the organic ground beef. They did not have any this time, so I had to go back to the frozen roll. This is the chicken I'm gonna make uh, Sally's dog food out of. I'll cook up this entire uh, package. All of this chicken, that entire bag of brown rice, and one of those two pound bags of mixed vegetables, that's her dog food. So we'll be making that here shortly, probably sometime this week. I picked up some of these chicken sausages. I will fry up some of these for our grazing board for uh, Christmas lunch. Got some American cheese slices for the guys for sandwiches, as well as two packages of ham. Got some of these honey battered breast tenders for Olivia for her lunches, a pound of butter, and two packages of Swiss cheese for lunches. I did get baby Swiss, as you saw at Walmart. That's for the uh, grazing board. This is just for eating any other time. I think that's everything. I don't see anything on the table that I forgot. If I did, you can let me know about it, but I don't think I missed anything. And that is my pre-Christmas grocery haul. All right, friends, that's it for my pre-Christmas three-week grocery haul. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it gave you some ideas of things that you can pick up for your holidays um, at your with your family and maybe to look for in the stores in your area. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below, and we'll talk to you all later. Bye-bye, friends.